Did you see that one? What's Mary Jane to do? In Spider-Man 3, she's finally made it to Broadway and Peter Parker has you know finally managed to balance his duties with his devotion I'd to like her. To but when she loses her job, he can't be as supportive as she'd like him strong. to be. When they split, Spider-Man mm. hooks his web into Gwen Stacy, played by Bryce Dallas Howard. Well, in the case of the city scene, the everyone in the crowds, oh. you know, yelling, you know, kiss her, kiss her, kiss her, and what, what Spider-Man ends up doing is is sharing that special kiss from the first film, the upside down kiss that you know was so intimate between our two characters, and and now he's sharing it with this other woman, and you know it's pretty heartbreaking for Mary Jane. Mary Jane finds herself in the arms of Spidey's best friend Harry Osborn when his duties become more important than her career. The only people that he's close to from his life are Peter and MJ, so um, yeah, MJ comes to him in a needy point and, and he's desperately lonely, so I think that, yeah, because he's there for and Peter's not, um, that kind of, that relationship is a little entangling. Kirsten does all her own singing in Spider-Man 3, which is great preparation for her upcoming biopic portraying Blondie's Deborah Harry.